Hello everyone and welcome to F Explain 11. I'm Andy and this is a part of the freeware review series I'm doing. <coughs> and this is a new version of the default Lanker 400 Columbia. Actually, it's more like uh, the Cessna 400 Corralis, which is the follow-up, which is, well, it's the, the Columbia started out as a Columbia, I think it started out more as a home-built kit plane, and then it got uh, somewhere along the lines, it got bought by Cessna, and turned into Cessna 400, which is more like this one, uh, because this has the new uh, G1000, or um, Avionic suite in it, and then now it's the Cessna TTX. So, but I think this is the equivalent of uh, 400. So, we got the uh, G1000 in it, which is very cool. Um, if we go to the inside, you can close and open the doors. If you close the pilot door, it's just that one. If you close the passenger door it also closes the pass uh, the co so it's garbage sorry <laughs> not garbage the baggage door so it's pretty pretty nice plane uh, all things considering turn the ergonomics off so um The only thing I sort of can't understand is why there's no key here. But I guess we can live with that. Uh, so we're gonna take a short flight on uh, we're in Japan. Uh Tokyo an airport called Kisarusu. Pretty cool. Um and start it up so Fuel one fourth, and we'll prime it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, just like same backup pump on. Let's see, position lights on, fuel on, and that's set. So, and pocket make on. So, we'll start it up. Here's the part. There should be a key there, I don't know what there is in the key there. Also the sound, I can't get any sound. Okay, and it started. Uh, we can turn on the avionics. Uh, so it's around 900. To idle. The systems. Everything is in the green. We'll take a short flight from from here, I just set up the flight. ATK. We'll go to. Let's see where should we fly? Somewhere close by. Mihara. Maybe? No, it's Ushimi. Ushima. Um, I can't. I am not good at this. So we'll go straight to a port called Koska, and then. Matsu, Hatsu, sorry, Hatsu. So we can set this up either to use the pop up window or we could do it this way. So, flight plan this is an old flight plan, we'll need to clear that. Easy this way. Delete flight plan, yes. So, this is where we are. I'm gonna go to Costco. Oh, oh, sorry. Cos. Cosca. Go. And then we go to Hatsu. Hatsu. This is not a tutorial on how to play do this, it's just 
Absolute, and then Oshima, which is RJTO. So Romeo, Juliet, Tango. Oh, sorry. Tango, Oscar. So, okay, good. So, we fly plan here. Can zoom out if you want to. I mean, zoom out. We go here down. Uh, we can just change that so we see it. So, pretty easy. Uh, this is just to show you the plane. Um, okay, I have a. Um, I have line. I'm gonna line up a, a couple of episodes using the pilot operating handbook. Uh, if I find it, I can put a link in the description for it because it actually, there is actually a pilot operating handbook for the V1000 version of this plane, the Cessna 400, so, which works on this pretty good. So I'm not following procedures now, which you might just notice. Okay, all your taxi lights on. And release brakes. No way we taxi. We'll just taxi straight here towards the runway. So a pretty. Good, I don't understand why I can't get any sound on this. Why I don't know why. So one other thing we'll, which we'll notice when we get up to using an autopilot, and that's the little thing here, the aileron trim. No, the elevator trim. It's stuck in a certain position, which doesn't affect the flying. It's just uh, that. So we'll go 1500, that's good. <coughs> good altitude. Actually, we could go VFR, we could go 2000. Then we might as well go 4000. Oh, getting close to the runway. Lights on. Need to turn. Transponder. Go on. Traffic no factor. <coughs> so, before take off checklist, flap set. Fuel and props in, lights on, and it's on. Okay, so ready for takeoff, just to full power. It does take a lot of lift, rather, which I find interesting because I watched a video. Let's see, I want to focus now. Rotate. I found that interesting because it shouldn't be able to take, should be able, shouldn't take a lot of left rudder, should be right rudder, actually, if I, l I looked at the video yesterday and of a real Kovalis and used a lot of right rudder, don't know why, maybe it's the wind here, oh. okay, <coughs> so we'll accelerate up to 85, we'll need to bring up our flaps, Around 85, I think. Flaps up. Could bring out a pack of pump. So 110 is around the uh, climb speed where you would use. Turn around here we'll do a left right turn to get away from all the traffic. I'm not getting any weird. I think it was really low. Can't really explain that. So, oh, must be good. so climb out uh, if lightly 
in a lightly um, lightly loaded plane should be around 1600 feet per minute so it, it, cl it climbs quite, quite nicely we aim with one turn I'm slightly off here a bit more thorough if I do a, a procedures video Okay, we can set up the autopilot. Um, CDI, GPS, flight change, autopilot on. No, oh, sorry, it was on. Flight change. Go nav. Turning to sub nav. Go f do 110. There's a climb speed. <coughs> We're almost at 4,000, so it's fairly long. Needed. So it does work quite nice with this, with the G1000. So about the mishap, I don't know, I think I got stuck on the propeller lever somehow, and that, and that, and they got stuck there, so. Do about 20, 25, 26, so uh, we should lean it. Around there, fair enough. <coughs> so it's a very good plane. Uh, the the Qualis 400 isn't certified to fly into known icing conditions, uh, but I think the new TTX is. So a slight difference there but this this more this seems more like a 400 to me uh, so the author also made a uh, let me turn off the tax light tax light let's see the fuel we should change so here's a procedure if you want to do procedures change don't just change to the right uh, tank you have to put on the vapor suppression then you can turn it to the right tank and it's stable then you can turn it off you're wondering. <coughs> so this flies right, very fairly nice. What else? Um, well, that's pretty much it. The the link will be in the description. Author also made this nice, nice cool paint. I'm hoping a lot of people will put out more paint jobs for this because it's a really cool plane, and it deserves having some good paint jobs. Which it hasn't, unfortunately. But I mean, this is a cool model. Of, I mean, the model is we've seen that before, but it's really nice with G1000. It works really, really nice. Just speed a little bit. Don't overspeed it. You can fly above in the green and in the yellow area if you want to, if it's stable and um, just straight, straight flight. <coughs> if you want to fly higher, uh, faster, you'll climb higher. I think maximum and top certified uh, uh, highest altitude is 25,000 feet, which is really high. So that's fairly cool. Don't know why we trim it so much down. Actually. But yeah. If you want to, you probably change this, uh, this texture too to match this one but then might be in a different area this isn't very nice I think this is a really nice model should be coming to Costco soon uh, two minutes ah, we're not gonna wait for that so uh, as I said links will be in the description for this updated version, um, I'm, um, I don't, I can't promise, but I'm, I'm going to try to find a link to the pilot operating handbook because that's kind of cool, and I'm going to put that in the description too. Um, and that's for the G1000 Cessna 400 Qualis, which is basically this version. And I tried it out a few flights yesterday, and it worked pretty good with the pilot following the pilot operating handbook. Uh, and I'm, I'm thinking about doing a procedure series on that one, but I haven't decided, and I haven't had much time to do it anyway. So. That's why I haven't done it. 
so anyway go check it out it's a cool plane um, you'll enjoy it thoroughly and it works flawlessly oh, just to show you this is the only little thing here I don't know why that's up there doesn't affect flying even if you disconnect it doesn't go wobbling to one side or some something it's just just a visual thing there but otherwise I can't find anything wrong with this otherwise it works really really nice okay I'm Andy uh, if you like my channel please subscribe if you like this episode please hit the like button leave a comment to share and have a great Christmas everyone see you soon take care bye bye